welcome back to another Unturned video. In today's video, we will start off as a fresh spawn on a Vanilla Plus Survival Russia server, where we'll go from nothing to killing many people, dying many times, and getting a pretty good Rex Riches. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more in the future, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. Also, subscribe to not miss any future videos, we're trying to reach 50,000 by the end of this year. In the last video, I announced a mythical giveaway, and this is the winner. If you want to claim a prize, please join my Discord over discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today, we're going to another one, which is at Lucky Coins Divergent Corruption. If you want to win this, make sure that you have like, subscribe, and comment something below. And if you are a channel member, you also have a higher chance of winning. And there is also a 10 mythical giveaway happening. If you guys want to know more about it, the link will be in the description below. It's very easy to join, only takes a few seconds. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to sell your own unturned servers? If you are, then I got the best option for you, and that is Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting, even if you're new to hosting, it is perfect for you since it is very easy to learn and super user friendly. They have locations all around the world, and the pricing is also quite cheap. If you're trying to host more games than unturned, they also have Rust, Arc, Minecraft, and much more. My favorite feature from Pine Hosting is that we can install plugins and mods literally just by one click. If you have servers with another host, you don't have to worry because they will provide personal help to move you. Your servers. Make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and be sure to use the code LDG for 30% off and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so we're joining in. We're in. Uh, for now, I'm gonna be solo. I'm gonna try to get myself a good start. If I do get myself a, a decent start, then I'll just tell a few of my buddies to join. But server is full. Server wiped actually today. So today is wipe day and we're gonna see what kind of action we're, that we're gonna get into. First of all, I want to get myself a base down. For now, probably build close to spawn. Probably close to around Novo Burst. Nothing that insane. Nothing too far away. Obviously, steer clear of military. And today is wipe day. I'm just going to try to focus on getting myself a good start. Some guns. Maybe a little bit of PvP. There's already a huge base over here. That's crazy. There's loot on the floor. Also, I do want to try to get myself a gas mask. So, building close to Novo Burst is actually a good idea. Not a lot of people go there. And usually, the people that are there are usually like low tier players. As in, they don't really have a lot of loot so we're gonna try to we're gonna try to build probably somewhere around there i'm gonna do a dead zone run obviously to try to get raiding gear here's everything's open so there were people definitely here but yeah we're gonna need cloth obviously for a bed for meds so everything we find we're gonna take it now the server is basically normal loot so it's not multiple load there are no kits it is vanilla plus so the only thing that there is is basically tpa and home if you're solo tpa it doesn't even matter but if you're a group it's actually a pretty huge advantage and there's there's a boss here, key shots happening. Great. Already perfect. I really need a gun, man. Farmer top. I'll just make meds for now. We also need to grind XP, man. That's gonna be a bit annoying. Now we got ourselves a skull field. Good, we are actually armed. We got ourselves a clip, so... So now we can actually start progressing a bit up north of the map. There's a guy on the bridge. He's proning. And he is dead. Anything he has, I'll take it, man. He, ha oh, he has a bow. Alright, not bad. I'm gonna jump off. There's another dude running towards us. So I'm not gonna try to bother with him. I'm gonna create my own group, by the way. Because I'm on a Steam group. Pretty sure the server allows up, like, to 6 max per group. So you can't really have any large groups on the server, which is nice. Alright, let's fill up. We really need to fill up our XP as well, man. We can barely run. There's a dude right there. He seems kind of geared, actually. Oh, he missed. Oh, he's running away. There we go. Hit him. He has a hawk count. And he is dead. Yeah, he's geared. Backpack. Right, let's kill the zombies. Before they kill me. He seems like actually he's quite geared. He was doing a farm run. Looted the whole town for me. Right, let's get ourselves a little bit more XP. Get ourselves a sweater vest. Let's salvage that. Oh, okay. Yo, he has uh, two guns. A bunch of metal bedroll already. A bunch of food. I don't even have enough space for all of this. I'm probably gonna build base, like, right now. And then return for the race of the loot. I don't wanna lose it. There's a saw, so we can use that. Got ourselves an axe to chop down trees. We got literally everything we need to build a, a starter base. That's great. Alright, time to start chopping down trees, then. Get ourselves XP. Start building base. There's a guy there. It seems kinda geared, actually, as well. I can't hit him, man. He's running away. Let's switch to Master Key. Just in case he's hiding behind the tree, but he's literally just running away, I'm pretty sure. And he's right there. He has a bow. Headshot. And he missed. Hit him. He's dead. Let's check out if they have any good loot. He seems... Yeah, he seems fully clothed. Ace. Bow. A bunch of meds. Chart. Diving tank, too. We could build a sky base with that, actually. That's huge. I'll take that. All 
Alright, base is done. Got a full crate of metal already almost. Put the master key there, the sawed off. Get ourselves a little bit of tape too for leathers. Alright, so I did tell a teammate to join. We're currently at duo. He's currently chopping down trees with me. Getting XP and we can upgrade base, make it larger from a one by one. We really need a chainsaw, man. There's a guy on a jet ski down there and we're- Oh! This guy came out of his base. This guy's living right next to us. We had to teach him a lesson because I don't really want him to try to raid us or something later on. I don't think he has anything though, poor guy. I kind of feel bad now. There's a dude here. Bro, you hit me. Hit him on the leg. I missed. There we go, he's dead. Yeah, this was the jet ski guy I saw. He had some food, a skull field with a scope. It's pretty good. That's one for our teammate then. Another easy gun, lovely. Food, ammo, clothes. Alright, great. Where's the flamer, bro? Oh, and there's a Zubek guy. Great. Oh, there's people around. There's a lot of people, actually. Punch this dude twice. Bro, there's like three people. Oh, this guy's a chainsaw. He has a monster key. He's right. Oh, he missed. Oh my god, I got him. Yo, easy chainsaw. Kill him. This guy went for crossbow. Oh, doesn't even have ammo. Yeah, he's running away from me. I have full XP now, though, to run. Yeah, there we go. Easy change, so we actually really needed that. A few meds, a few meds. Alright, let's run back to base now. Two chainsaws is crazy. Oh, there's another dude hiding there. There we go, he's dead. I just got four kills. Even though they were with nothing good. Except chainsaw. Alright, so at this point we were four and we decided that we want to move our base to a much more north location. So I came up with the idea of building close to Crowvy. So we decided to just go naked, start our journey. As soon as we get there, we'll start building a base and then move all of our loot from our first base to the second base. This place is much closer to the dead zone, close to Crowvy and close to our military tunnel. So we're gonna get ourselves much better loot than Hawkhounds, Schofields and Master Keys. There's a guy inside this base, it's live. I have a Chris Karak. Oh, he's coming out. Hit him. Oh, he's dead. Oh, we're deep. Oh, there's, there's nothing in here. Never mind. Uh, backpack. Few mags. Yeah, nothing that good, man. Poor guy. We went deep on this dude. And he has nothing. My guy just built the base. He doesn't even have a bed. Make a dude there. Oh, and there's an og guy. Okay. And I'm completely alone. And against an og. Oh, yeah, he's coming up here. I'm probably gonna die. I only have a Chris Karak. Let's accept TPs. I'm gonna try to crawl around. Be yeah, I hear them walking. They're literally... Yeah, they're literally right there. I'm gonna try... Actually, I could try to backstab. There's two dudes. One of them has my teammate's loot. Hit him, hit him. He's dead. Yeah, this is the Chris Karak guy. Yo, my teammate could actually go for it. He's probably gonna come up. Yeah, he's coming up. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, he's dead. Oh my god, there's no way. Bro, oh, calling ca Three calling cards, Yuri. Bro, that's a Rax to Riches right there. Double kill with a Chris Karak. That's huge. Alright, so we're gonna build over here. Very close to Crowvy. My teammates are farming for wood. And this place will be a very good location. Because we're close to a lot of high tier loot area. So what we're gonna do is we're probably just gonna go do... Like, we're gonna split up into duos. And we're gonna go loot separate areas. That way we'll loot more areas. If there are people, then we could just tell each other. And then just go next to each other, I guess. But that way we'll get ourselves much faster loot. Especially now we have an AUG. We all have a high tier gun. I have an AUG. My teammates all have a calling card. And then we have a URI as backup. Plus we still have a lot of other low tier guns at our first base speaking of we actually have to move all of that loot to this one all right so i'm gonna help them chopping down trees same time i still need more xp yeah, there's uh my teammates got killed here yeah there's a dude right there oh there's two guys oh bro my gun went away what oh, that guy's there he's, he's dead Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god. There's no way. Oh, my teammate got him though. Nice. All right. They're all dead. We just gained like a few more guns than Yuri, I'm pretty sure. And machine gewehr. There's a dude right here. He's dead. He has uh, another Yuri. Let's go. Pretty nice. I think there is a base living close to us, man. It's the same people over and over. I hear steps. He's up there. Hit him. I'm dead. 
Bro, it's the same people over and over. We kill them. They kill us. They lose guns. We lose guns. They have a base close to us. They're gonna be annoying neighbors, man. We have to get rid of them. We have to door camp them. Destroy their beds or something. Oh, yeah. The duo is coming here. I'm solo. It's calling card. One's pushing. One dead. The other dude is gonna hide. My team are all in base. Let's just try to get his loot before he peeks. Oh, he peeks. Oh, I'm gonna die though. Oh, I killed. Oh my god, that spray was perfect. Right, let's med up. It would be great if my team TPs right now. Their base is literally right up this hill as well. Yeah, Schofield, another calling card. We got a Yuri as well. Yeah, we just got ourselves uh, a lot more guns, so that's pretty nice. Lovely. Right, it's dark. I used the cover of dark to try to, to kill them. Keep coming back so quickly as well. But we got ourselves two. For loop house. But yeah, I, I made it back to my first base actually. I still don't have a bed in my new base over at Krovi. I'm still homing to this base because we're trying to get a gas mask. But my teams do have a bed in that other base. So we have two bases right now. And that way we can distribute the loot as well. So if one of our bases gets raided, we can just move everything to this base. So I had an 8x. I'm actually going to put it on the skull field. That's going to be pretty deadly combo. Yeah, we made it to our second base now. I'm going to give them all a gun from this run that I just did. And we're going to try to go door camp them. Try to get them off the survey or move the base or something. So that we can loot in peace without any competition. Yeah, all of our crates here are almost full as well. Not all of them, but some of them. Getting a lot of guns from this. Coming out. Hit him, hit him, hit him. He's dead. Oh, he closed it. No. We got ourselves another bulldog. Though. I'm gonna bleed out. Oh, no. I hope he's not pushing out, bro. I'm literally about to die. I have no ammo. Oh, no. He's not. Yeah, all my team is gone. They all got some good stuff and they're depoing and we gotta accept their TPs. Bulldog is empty, though, anyway. But we do have bulldog mags in base so we can just refill. Getting ourselves some pretty good guns, actually, from these guys. We're literally bankrupting them without even raiding them. We're gonna try to raid these guys, obviously, but we still need raiding gear. We still try to get a gas mask from either Firewatch or the gas station over next to base. He's not even trying to come out. And he's dead. Came out with attack. Nothing too good. Alright, so an update about those guys. They actually um, left the server after we stayed door camping them for a little bit. So that's kind of a good thing because now we can actually loot the military tunnels in peace. And uh, Crow V... Even though other people do come, but those guys just respawn so quickly if we kill them. But now we can do it in peace. There's a dude dead. What a metal, damn. That's nice. He's a filter, too. Uh, let's kill the zombies. Lovely. That's pretty good. Oh, Ghost Mask, finally. Alright, we can start doing uh, dead zone run then. Let's go, that's huge. We, extra have, we have extra filters, too, so it's even better. Alright, so we're actually at dual. We found another gauze mask, so we're doing it together. This way we're looting it much quicker and there's people shooting. Great. We looted the ranger area, we didn't get anything good though. We got like a few peacemaker mags, that's literally all I got. But since there's a guy here, we actually hopefully we don't die. Try to kill him. Let's try to do this as quietly as possible. I'm literally dehydrating to death right now, so yeah. He's right here. There we go, he's dead. Easy. At least back, huge. Oh, Metsa Morris, hi Cal. Another Goss Mask. Got ourselves a pretty nice Night Trader too. Beautiful. Alright, let's take everything. A lot of ammo. MREs. Let's eat one so we don't actually dehydrate. Bro, we got ourselves a Metsa Box as well and Haikal. We well, basically looted it for us so we don't even have to bother looting here. But I'm still gonna run around to make sure he didn't leave anything. Or if anything respawned. But that's huge, man. Got ourselves another Goss Mask. So, insane profit. Alright, so we're gonna raid this base. Three man team or how many they were. And what I'm doing is I'm actually building a one by one as cover. We gotta seal it off and then I'll TP with the meta and we will go down. I don't really care if there's good loot or not. I just want to get rid of our neighbors basically. So that we can have the military tunnels all to ourselves. And so now I'm gonna home. I'm gonna get the meta. The high cow box and the meta box. Which should be... Uh, there we go. We got the meta, the box and the, the larger box. Lovely. We got ourselves pretty good loot, man. We've been living up here for like an hour. Uh, a lot of the guns are actually on our teammates, obviously. We're a pretty big group. I started off as a solo. And then uh, the group quickly got bigger. Let's wear ourselves the Elise back too, just in case there's a lot of loot. Even though it's literally wipe day today, I don't think there's gonna be anything that crazy. And I do think that we actually got the majority of their guns. Oh yeah, snipers here, a lot of ammo. Yeah, I think all of the boxes are being looted right now. Yeah, I can't access any of them. 
Let's destroy the beds. There we go. I do think that we killed them so many times that they literally ran out of guns. So that's right here. The other part of the base is just the garage. There was an APC here. Yeah, there's just a bed in here. Yeah, these guys are broke. Bed's gone. Kind of wish the server has like a sleeper plugin so we could see what they logged off with. But we're done from this raid. Alright boys, after that I did leave the server. It was a pretty good wipe day, especially since we started with absolutely nothing and then aided, ended with raiding bases, got ourselves three gauss masks, so you could do that zone runs whenever. But if you guys want to see more of the server, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you to everybody that watched and huge shout out to the teammates that actually did join as well and helped out. Really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!